Hello, and you would certainly believe and agree that planning takes you miles. Actually, planning and organizing skills are great, but to form a strategic planning, you need to be meticulous. You need to really put your thought into it and look into the most practical aspect of designing a strategy. So, let's dwell this time making what is strategic planning, definition, techniques, and perhaps examples too. So companies often have goals, both broad and specific, of how they want to achieve success in certain ways. Strategic planning helps businesses set objectives and timelines to accomplish those goals. It provides a focus for how a company operates and makes decisions. In this particular shoot, we'll define strategic planning, discuss strategic planning, techniques, and give examples of effective strategic planning. So what is strategic planning? Strategic planning creates achievable goals through several factors such as time management and resource allocation. Done well, strategic planning improves operations, provides focus, sets priorities and increases collaboration. It can guide and shape the future of an organization. If a company is new or experiencing significant change, team members may work together to create or update the strategic plan. Decision makers may be managers, department leaders or team leaders. How to create a strategic plan? If you are part of a strategic planning committee, you can follow these steps to create an effective plan. 1. Clarify the company's vision. Second, make an outline. Third, create detailed goals. Fourth, decide how to track your progress. Number fifth, involve all employees. Sixth, follow up routinely. So let's understand them point wise. Number one, clarify the company's vision. One of the first steps in a strategic planning is defining the vision, values and mission for the organization. The vision is the long-term objective of the business and you should base it on ambitious but realistic goals. Values are beliefs that create the foundation for the company and affect every part of the business from marketing strategies to workplace culture. Values should be beliefs that you want employees to practice regularly. Why? The mission defines your purpose as a company. This could be one of the lengthier processes since your group will need to agree on the same definitions for all high level components of the organization. Number two, make an outline. You should create an outline that includes everything you want to discuss during your planning session. The outline guides you through a series of steps including the assessment stage, formulating the strategy and communicating the actions necessary to advance the company towards the strategic vision. Department leaders should research and gather information about their departments to contribute to the outline. The planning team must understand the current status of the business as well as the factors that will affect it in the future. The outline also determines which employees should complete tasks to ensure the team meets objectives. Number three, create detailed goals. Once you establish your mission and outline, discuss the goals the team wants to set. Now these goals should be specific with established deadlines and metrics. For example, a marketing department team could decide they want to write five articles for the company website and get a total of 15,000 page views in the next 30 days. Every week they can review their analytics to see how close they are to meeting that particular goal that they have set for themselves. Number four, decide how to track your progress. An essential part of the strategic planning process is creating a system for tracking your progress. You can do this by regularly creating and reviewing reports. Your company may 
already create reports that apply to your planning. Use these to document your progress and connect your work to your strategy. Number fifth, involve all employees. Every employee contributes to the success of a company. Your team should communicate the mission and outline with all team members and ask for their input. Employees may have a better understanding of what the company can and can't do. Communication with all employees also ensures that everyone is working towards the same objectives and gives them an active role in planning the company's future. Number six, follow up routinely. Once you finish the strategic plan, revisit it periodically. Meet with employees and review how the company is progressing towards its objectives. If a goal is lagging behind, course correction is a better option than going and regretting at the end. Better is always come together, discuss why with employees and see how it can be improved. That's precisely what I call as course correction. You should also share your progress with the entire company regularly. Why? Because this not only helps you to showcase your work, but also involves other and that accountability and inclusiveness of every employee is very essential for the company to take a northern path, to take a progressive path. Strategic planning example. Here is an example of a strategic plan to improve customer satisfaction. You are part of strategic planning team that sets a goal in the beginning of January to have clients consider you as a trusted partner. You also would like to increase their satisfaction rate from maybe 80% in the past to maybe 85 to 90% by the end of the quarter. To accomplish this goal, you want to improve your annual client conference. There are various tasks you must achieve such as identifying the venue and date, creating the agenda, inviting speakers, developing social events, creating menus and sending out invitations. Your strategic team assigns specific departments in the company to complete each task. You hold weekly meetings to ensure there are no delays in the plan. You also plan a company-wide meeting at the beginning of February and March so you can get opinions from the team and share developments. The team will schedule one final meeting on March 30 to review any last-minute details. One week after the conference, your team will send your clients a survey to evaluate the satisfaction rate. One month after the conference, you will compile the results and share them with the entire company. What a better way than to have a countdown. If you have fixed something as strategic planning under the banner strategic planning, any activity, any schedule, any meeting, any objective, any project for that matter, I would definitely work it with a timeline. And if there is this countdown word, let that countdown be a jargon which has a full form of that particular objective. For example, you can have Jeet which itself means win or triumph and maybe put that acronym into a full form which might fulfill the objective of that particular task or that particular project. And begin with smaller milestones. Always have timely meeting. Keep everything on track. Monitoring closely and working closely with great amount of communication will have everything falling in place in time so that the last minute you will not have any kind of a hassle to troubleshoot. The best thing is if you are working on your timelines tightly, walking on that rope tightly, you are definitely 
ensuring not to miss any milestones that you have crafted for that particular project or task now the basic thing is when you all come together and there is this task to be achieved we all communicate the same language we all communicate the same thing so there is a lot of sameness rather than differences meeting every milestones that we progress from one to another and keep marching ahead so a countdown is necessary a war cry is necessary coming together and communicating is necessary keeping track is necessary being resourceful and identifying all those proactive areas just to minimize there is lesser chance of going that project for a toss so strategic planning means people strategic planning means time strategic planning means that war cry strategic planning means that acronym strategic planning means we all work towards common objective common communication speak the same lingo and maybe interact in those time as much as possible i hope strategic planning has been laid down more simplistic and in a most scientific way you get it if you get it then it's a great way to be a great strategic planner because it's your outright growth that you are looking at hope this works a long long way thank you